In this quick lesson, we're going to look at how you can easily change an icon for any drive, app, folder, or file on your Mac. First, we need to find new icons. This can be done with a simple web search of the term Mac icons or cool Mac icons or whatever combination you can think of. There are several sites that offer both free and paid icons, like Icon Archive and Interface Lift. I'll add a couple links to these sites below the video. You can also grab icons from the image search results. The trick when browsing icons here in your search results is finding files with transparency, which is represented by a checkerboard pattern behind the icon. If you see white back there, or another solid color, it's part of the icon. It's still going to work, but it won't look quite right. So let's create a new folder in the Finder now and replace the standard blue folder icon with one in these search results. Once I have my folder, I need to select it and enter Command I for Get Info. You can also right click on the folder and select Get Info. We're going to be replacing the icon here in the upper left. If I want to use this 3D Apple logo, I just need to drag it here from my web browser and place it over the folder icon here. When I see the plus icon, I can release. And there's my new icon. Notice that if I drag this iTunes icon to my desktop and then try to drag it to the Get Info window for this folder, the icon that I want doesn't appear. We end up with a generic PNG file icon. So for some reason, you can drag PNG files from your search results right from your browser into the Get Info window. But once you download the image to your Mac, it needs to be an icon file to replace an icon. That's where icon download sites like Interface Lift and Icon Archive come into play. If you have a Retina display on your Mac, you're probably going to want to find larger icons that come in preferably at 512 by 512 pixels and at least at 256 by 256. Any smaller in the icon is going to look pixelated on your display. I'm going to download this Alumni icon set. I'll click the Mac button here and the folder is downloaded. Notice this comes in as an ICNS folder, and all the files within it are .icns. You're going to need either ICO or ICNS files for this to work. So now let's use one of the icons in this set to replace the icon for a folder. With the Get Info window open, for the folder that I want to change the icon for. I just need to drag the ICNS file that I want to be the new icon into it. Remember that this can be done for app icons, hard drive icons, file icons, and folder icons. If you end up wanting to switch back to the old standard folder icon, there's a way to do that as well. Use Get Info on a standard folder and copy the icon from it over to the one that you want to replace. So I'll just use Command V to paste this in. So that's a quick lesson on how to replace Mac icons. In an upcoming lesson, we'll look at how you can make your own icons using a graphics app like Pixelmator. Thanks for watching. TheMacU.com provides in-depth video tutorials on how to use your Mac, iPad, and iPhone. Start a free trial today to see all the lessons on topics like macOS Sierra, iOS 10, the Photos app, Safari, Calendar, and many more.